Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. Today we spent $120, so you didn't have to. Zach, tell them what we did. So we went on this website, uh, Timu. You may have seen it going around. It's another one of these cheap Chinese websites like uh, AliExpress or Alibaba. Well, they sell a bunch of cheap products that deliver directly to your house, a whole bunch of made in China stuff. But we wanted to see which products were actually worth the money and which ones weren't. So I went through and I spent about 120 bucks and I I believe I got seven decent items, but we'll check what actually makes sense and what was bad. This is just a quick unboxing of the overview of the items. We'll do a review on each one individually later on. Yeah, so if there's something individually, guys, you're really interested in, there will be separate videos. Um, this one's going to be up first, so it may be a couple weeks before you see the particular item you're looking for, because we are going to space them out uh, here for you know a couple of weeks or so. Um, so which where do you want to start at, Zach? Do you yes. want to start with the... We'll start on this end and we'll make our way your All way. All right, that'll work. This one was a cheek riser with an ammo, spot for ammo. Seat. That's pretty sweet. Now, I believe this one costs $7, I believe. Wow. You can check that one out. So when we do the uh, the unboxing for the uh, this particular product, guys, we'll display it on a gun and everything. Um, this is uh, for a rifle, actually. This is pretty sweet. You said this was seven bucks, huh? I believe so. Wow. I'm gonna pull up my order so we can look Open at it. Open it up a little bit. Six seventy-seven. Wow, guys, six bucks. Great. What appears to be a decent little cheek riser with the uh, extra pieces. This is good for if your rifle has a scope on it and it does doesn't quite line up when you're eyeballing down to there. All right, there's product one. All right, now there are a couple yep. of bigger products. We'll save those for here in a minute. Yep, we do have a special announcement at the end of the video, guys. So please stay tuned. Yes. This one was supposed to be. A sandbag and it kind of is but we kind of need some sand <laughs> yeah i didn't realize it came empty that was my fault i didn't read the thing fully it does mention that it comes empty and you need to provide your own sand for this particular product but it does have two bags for you to set your rifle on when you're aiming that's pretty sweet yep you pull that out i paid let's see what did i pay for that 647 wow yeah, these things are pretty pricey. Well, they're about 20 bucks up for, for one. Yeah, we'll do some com more comparison videos to see if it makes sense for, you know, if this thing does tear up faster, does the math make sense for us to still just order a second one versus buying or paying extra from the same thing from Walmart, which is also probably made in China as well. Yeah, that's definitely made in China. This one was one of my favorites. That one's pretty cool. Oh, we're getting a good breeze, guys. I don't know if you can tell by the camera, but it's about eight, eight, probably about 80 degrees right now. No, it's closer to 90 with about 80 percent humidity. Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty muggy, it's very cloudy out, but yeah, sun keeps popping out. We're us. sweating, <laughs> but <clears throat> it's not too bad, even with all this. Now, these are pretty sweet uh, earmuffs right here, guys. I have a pair myself. Um, yep, they have the American flags on the side, and they have this little roller piece right here. This it should be what's used to control the volume. Yep. The way these things work, if I'm not mistaken, based on the way yours work, is that they, um, you can't hear it when you're firing a rifle or anything like that, but if somebody's speaking at a regular tone, then you can hear it through the exactly. speakers on the side yep. of this. We'll have to test this out in the field, make sure it actually works. How much were this? These. Because at Walmart, they're like $40. Okay. They were definitely not $40. Uh, for the, I mean, I mean, I'm serious. I think mine are the same brand as these. Are the exact same headphones. Twenty-two ninety-eight. Wow. I paid forty dollars for mine. Seriously, yep. at Walmart. Mine came with a little aux cord as well, <laughs> so you can plug it in if you have something that you want to listen to music through these as well. So the whole point of this video, guys, is to see if you can get decent products from these places. These, you know, Amazon and what do you say this place was? This place is called Timu. Timu. I've never personally used it, so I can't even pronounce it. <laughs> now I've heard some stuff, just so you all are aware about people getting their money stolen from their account. Technically that could happen on Amazon or any website, but always be careful when shopping online. Don't fully trust anyone with all your credit card information or anything like that. Just keep an eye out. Right, so this one, I thought, was a cheap, small survival bag, and I was right, it is a bag. But it is actually fully <laughs> it empty. It is a bag. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually fully empty. Once again, another, I think, $7 on this one as well. Yeah, that one's, I mean, for 7 bucks, that is a nice bag, guys. Like, really decent quality. Yeah, the straps and stuff on the back make it easy to attach to anything you're going to use. Yep, this would be good for plate carriers, yep. uh, bug-out uh, bags. Yeah, first aid bag. The item you receive is an empty medical bag not included, is what the thing says. I didn't read that part when I bought it. But I paid $8.47 for it. 
All right, before we get to these two, uh, we'll knock this one out because those two are part of our announcement. Um, this is your uh, shoulder strap. You can put it on two different ways. I'm putting it actually on the opposite way the way I would prefer. But you strap these down into your belt and you've got, uh, how much was it, like 20 bucks you said, right? Yeah, that was also another $20 item. These are actually really decent for 20 bucks, guys. 21 14 is what I paid for that one. Because these things typically retail between 80 and $100 for a decent one. Now, obviously, you know, this isn't gonna be as good quality as an 80 to $100 one, but for $20, this is this is pretty sweet. Yeah, if you're looking to shoulder carry, just be, maybe you just don't option. like hip carry, maybe you like to conceal carrying, but you don't have you know, don't want to pay a hundred dollars for a leather shoulder carry option. Twenty bucks. This thing is designed for Glock, according to the advertisement. It looks like it holds a 1911 as well. We'll test some other guns out. And see yeah, how we'll they test fit. a few and see how they fit. Uh, just so you are aware, if you do decide to buy one, you can only adjust it with an actual screwdriver. It, wow. Yeah, those things don't pop out. It takes a <laughs> screwdriver to actually bolt them. That's in. good, guys. It means it's not going to fall apart on you. Yeah, I think I, that's probably better for the overall quality of it as well. <clears throat> All right, now. The big two items. Do we start with the announcement or we unbox first? What do you think? Well, the, we can unbox them and then we can tell. All right, so you guys better stay tuned. These two are the more cool products, guys. These are, uh, this is this is a survival kit, right, Zach? Yes, this is supposed to be a 24 piece survival kit. Now, Oh, interesting. It has a little rope in here that appears to either be broken or maybe it wasn't attached to it properly to begin with. This appears to be broken. That's what it looks like. Yeah, I think this was supposed to be a uh, thing. <laughs> the rope already on broke on this. All one. right, so we're not off to a great start. A great start. <laughs> now, how much was this kit? Now, this 24 piece survival kit was $22.98. 22 bucks. So, in it is case, a hard case. Yes. How hard is the case? decent it's like a hard plastic yeah it's a fair it's a fair case oh wow it's got some interesting items in this it. is gonna be fun is that twine that is uh twine for fire tender mm. that is the uh cable, cable saw cable saw yeah got a decent little d hook here gee i bet you could you could hike down a mountain with this <laughs> Oh, hey, this is a fishing line and a couple of lures and stuff. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, you don't typically see that in a survival kit of fishing options. But, yeah. And this would actually work without a pole. I mean, it'd be difficult, but... You could do it, yeah. yeah. You can make it work. Okay. There's this thing, which appears to have a blade in it. Yeah, that's like your, uh, your wallet uh, tool. People put them in their wallets. <clears throat> they're they're okay. They're They're not great you know for anything but they're in a pinch they work yeah if you have to make <clears throat> something work this is something they're not cool. convenience we'll put it that way yes <laughs> it's not a convenience tool yeah i mean if you are looking <clears throat> to like it's more of a survival option than anything like i said this is a cable saw i mean if you got a chainsaw if you have a fishing pole use your fishing pole or your chainsaw don't use this but if you need to survive got a solar blanket solar blanket of course Every, just about every survival kit's got one of those. Um, they're just, you know. Just a cheap blanket to throw over you. That is our flint steel rod. That looks like a fairly decent one. We'll have to test that out. Yeah, we'll start a couple of fires somewhere. Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> if you want to open this, I'll open the rest of this. Collection of yeah. 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 yeah, we'll go to that in a detailed video. Yeah. This so, appears to be a fork, spoon, bottle opener. Is that option. metal or plastic? This is metal. That's a metal spoon. That's pretty sweet. Like I said, guys, if you really want to see the details on these things, uh, watch the detailed video because we're kind of just going through them because we don't want the video to be too long for you guys either. Yeah, we're just kind of showing you all the stuff you can get for, well, 120 bucks from Timo. Now, this one was the one that caught my eye on it. Yes, there's a hammer, oh. a small axe, and appears to be some, a set of pliers. Yeah, you can use pliers off of this thing. This will be a fun one to check out. And, of course, some cheap paracord. Yeah, that's better than the raw stuff. It's about the same. Yeah, about the same. Probably got it from the same place. All right, so there's one kit. That I'll is the this full survival kit. And now this is kind of along the same idea. This is actually not quite the same bag as the one that I purchased yep. separately. I thought I was buying a cheaper one for it, but this is a different product. This is actual full medical kit as well. All right. 
This will be interesting here. Okay, you can actually unstrap it back there. But it's actually kind of odd. It folds over. So this is a medical kit, right? Yes, this is supposed to be a full medical kit. All right. Will this... Oh, it's all in a plastic bag inside. Of that is pretty... I mean, it looks sweet. Wait, can you unstrap it as well? It's got Q-tips and everything. Yep. It's got similar to the one you got from the Ross video. This one... Yep, it's got the bandages. Got some, uh, We're referring to this. Bandage tape. Yeah. <laughs> Q-tips, they're at least double-sided on this one. Oh, wow, yeah. Triangular good, good, good. bandages. All right. That's pretty sweet. It is misspelled triangular. Wow. <laughs> it is from China, you know. It is China, too. Oh, hey, look at that. It's a uh, stent thing for if you broke a bone. That's cool. Yeah, you can, you can make this. your own cast at home. Well, you can use a uh, top of splint essentially <laughs> if you are you've broken a bone out in the woods. This will get you by. That's uh, pretty sweet. Buy for a little while. You still want to get to medical help immediately. Definitely. Lots of alcohol pads. Those are handy to have. Those you get cut. Another uh, blanket. Another solar blanket. I've probably got a hundred solar blankets with all the stuff I've got. What's in that? What is that? Puke bag? No, is that the the uh, bag you put in your mouth to breathe? What? I believe so. A real small mouth. We'll go into it as well. <clears throat> a little further later on. That's an unhappy husband. Hey, actual metal Whoever tweezers. That. <laughs> metal <laughs> tweezers. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I had to throw that in there. A series of body pens would be good for the gauze and things like that as well. A couple antiseptic wipes and a oh, an iodine iodine prep pad. You don't really see I, those often. No. Those are good for when you're actually having to like <clears throat> cut into something. Or cut into someone. Yes, essentially. For instance, me and Zach were hiking and he fell and broke his leg. And I had to cut him open. Yeah, they had the actual like sideways scissors with the Oh, slides. wow. Those are pretty nice. A little bit better than the Ross one there. Those are probably gloves, no? Yeah, I believe they are gloves, actually. They are definitely sealed extremely well. Uh, Interesting. I think this is used for if you need to make a splint or it looks like just regular bandage. Emergency trauma bandage. Yep, that's trauma. right. That's why this one's sealed. This one's for when you actually do break something and you probably need to make a tourniquet out of it. Yeah. Oh, there's the tourniquet. There's a tourniquet. Look at that. All this came in this bag for $23.37. Not bad. Not bad at all. Now, wow. for our surprise, yep. what we're going to do is we're actually going to be giving away both the survival kit and the first aid kit. Yep. We may make a few adjustments to the actual product before we give it away. Maybe, you know, maybe you don't need two blankets or something like that. Maybe we can slide something actually useful in there. Maybe I'll even throw in an autograph. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe a shirt. Check Ooh. out the merch store. Yeah, check out the merch store, guys. Yeah, because this is the first video. Someone's wearing some merch. Oh, yeah. We've actually dropped a bunch of new styles recently. So check them out. And if you have any suggestions or anything you'd like to see, let us know. Um, well, yeah. Pass that, guys. Um, be sure you like, subscribe. Thanks, guys. Thank you.